because they're voting against it. It's their right to vote against it. And I will back my colleagues who vote against it all the way, Mr Speaker, and, and I, just, I just don't agree with them. <coughs> and, um, and they're going to lose tonight. But however, um, to quickly run through what I was going to say, it's, it's time. The sky didn't and won't fall in. How does it affect me or anyone else in this House, in this country? It doesn't. It just doesn't. Think about it for a minute. If, if, the, if the institution of marriage was so sacrosanct, then why the hell are so many people getting a divorce? And I don't say that in a facetious manner. Mr Speaker, if, the, if, it, if it does belong to the church, as I have been told by so many people on the email, then why do we have legislation outlining who can and who can't? If there was no legislation, I would back the church 100%. But it's not theirs. It actually belongs to the government. It actually belongs to this parliament. It is a creature now of parliament. It's not a creature anymore of the, either the Bible or the church, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Lastly, I want to say it's actually about the, equ the equality of opportunity. All we are doing, we're not, we're not forcing anybody to do anything. No way, shape or form. But what we are doing, Mr Speaker, is offering people the opportunity of equality. Now, they either take it or they don't. That's up to them. It's not up to me, not up to any one of us uh, in this House. Sir, I want to thank uh, my cousin, uh, Kath, uh, who unfortunately died some months ago. Uh, she would have been here uh, yelling from the rooftops, and I seriously mean she would have been yelling from the rooftops because that's what she was like. Um, I, I hope she is finally proud of her cousin, um, and I'm sure she was in other ways. Finally, Mr Speaker, a message to all LGBTI, and I finally got that out. Um, my message to you all is welcome to the mainstream. Do well. Kilda. Uh, the Honourable John Banks. Mr Speaker, I will split this call with T. U. Roa Flavel of the Maori Party, Mr Speaker. The privilege we have to be in this House is counterbalanced by the need to stand up and be counted. And I'm one of a handful of members that was here in the very early days of these debates. After three decades and ten parliaments, I've had time to reflect. To reflect on what I said and to reflect on what I did. If I knew then what I have since learned, I would have acted differently. I see this as a debate more about human rights predicated on the basis that we are all entitled to live our lives to the fullest extent of human happiness while respecting the rights and beliefs of others. I believe all New Zealanders should be free to pursue their own happiness. Act's principles of freedom and choice go to the heart of this particular issue. Freedom gives each individual the right to determine for themselves their happiness for their own lives. I want my political career and public service to recognise the value and potential of every New Zealander. My gay friends know that my vote is not needed to pass this bill, but they tell me that my support is important to them. I received a text from a friend who had heard that this bill had my support. The text said, thanks Banksy, this bill won't have any impact on your marriage, but it will mean a great deal to me and my relationship. I think that sums up the argument very well. I know many people are opponents with strong views on this issue. I respect that. I hope my comments tonight give an insight for my friends who don't support this bill 
and can't understand why I have charted this course. I respect their right to hold their views and uphold their right to practice their faith. In turn, I expect those people to let me hold my views and practice my own faith. When making this decision, I had to ask myself, will New Zealanders have more freedoms as a result of this bill? Yes. Will freedom of religion be preserved? Yes. Will anyone's freedoms be taken away by this bill? No. Would the God that I believe in think any less of me for voting for this bill? No. That's why I support this legislation. Uh, members and uh, the gallery, can I just ask that you refrain from any comment? There will be a waiata after the clerk has announced the third reading, um, but I just ask so that we can get the procedures of the House completed. Members, the eyes are 77, the nose are 44. the doors.